As you know, students learn in many different ways, and effective instruction accommodates diverse learning styles. In this lesson about poetic language, students can not only read a poem by Gwendolyn Brooks and learn from the supporting visuals, but can hear it read in the poet's own voice along with her commentary. This creates an enriching literary experience that demonstrates how tone and diction can affect a poem's meaning and impact. Thank you. I guess I'd better offer you We Real Cool. Most young people know me only by that poem. I don't mean that I dislike it, but I would prefer it if the textbook compilers and the anthologists would assume that I've written a few other poems. I wrote it because I was passing by a pool hall in my community one afternoon during school time, and I saw therein a uh, little bunch of boys, I say here in this poem, seven, and they were shooting pool. But instead of asking myself, why aren't they in school, I asked myself, I wonder how they feel about themselves, and just perhaps they might have considered themselves contemptuous of the establishment, or at least they wanted to feel that they were contemptuous of the establishment, might want to thumb their noses at the establishment. And I represented the establishment with the month of June, which is a nice, gentle, non-controversial, enjoyable, pleasant, fragrant month that everybody loves. Uh, this poem has been banned here and there because of the word jazz, which some people have considered a sexual reference. That was not my intention, though I have no objection if it helps anybody. <laughs> but I was thinking of music. The pool players, seven at the golden shovel. We real cool, we left school, we lurk. Light we strike straight we sing sin we then gin we jazz gin we die spoon 